Staples even buzzing with the Jazz coming to town and Kobe in effect. And Kobe would have a good one. So would Kwame Brown from sit down right there. 6-2 L.A. And our first Kobe Bryant highlight. Ronnie Brewer defending him pretty well, and there's no defense for that. End of one, L.A. up 25-21. Darren Williams, huge game Saturday night against the Golden State Warriors, and another big one here. He had 26, Utah up two, and then Memo to Booz to Brewer, and it looked good right there, didn't it? Three-point lead for Utah, and Vladimir Radmanovich to Kwame Brown to Kobe Bryant in the lane. No defense at all. At the half, Utah up 51-46. And Derek Fisher, former member of the Utah Jazz, so big for them a year ago. Just coast, coast to coast right here. Boy, the Jazz look a little tired, don't they? Their fourth game of the week, and one for D. Fish. Ties the game at 53. Ronnie Brew, Carlos Boozer, and it's a part of his 23 and 12 evening in L.A. One point lead for the Jazz, and then it's Bynum to Kobe for three. Uh, 33 points for Kobe. And at the end of three, Utah led 82-81. We had a ball game at Staples. Andrew Bynum throwing it down. That was beautiful. Set up nicely by Farmar. L.A. up one. And then Kirilenko is rejected by Kobe Bryant. All defensive first team last year. Showing you why right there. And then Andrew Bynum, the great catch and the finish. The and one. He had 15 and nine in just 19 minutes. The Lakers win 119 to 109 Bynum has that big game off the bench before fouling out Derek Fisher 17 points against his old club with his old club in the second tour of duty hey Carlos Boozer had the big double double for Utah but it was not enough Kobe Bryant scores six of his 33 points in the final four and a half minutes of play and he loved his club's effort